Chihuahuas vs Pomeranians Both Pomeranians and Chihuahuas are very popular dogs that are alert and loyal companions. They are two small breeds with a height of fewer than 11 inches. Both breeds are great companion dogs and sometimes serve as watchdogs. They are well known as too adorable with very active and bright behavior. There are also quite a few differences between these two breeds that you will learn about in this video. So let's take a look at the most important things to know about these breeds. Number 1. Their Origins The history of the Chihuahua has been debated as certain people believe that they were first bred in China before being introduced to the Americas. Others say that they are native to Central America and descended from the Tachichi, a small dog that lived in the 9th century. A similar dog breed was found in the Cholula pyramids dating back to the 1500s. Despite their debatable origin, Chihuahuas have become a prevalent dog breed in America, Europe, and the Mediterranean. On the other hand, the origin of Pomeranians is much clearer. They essentially came from sled dogs in Iceland and Lapland. They were later developed to the little dog we know today from much larger dog breeds that are similar to modern Klein German Spitz. In the mid-1800s, when Queen Victoria brought this dog to England, the dog breed became very popular in Great Britain. Number 2. Their Personality Chihuahuas have large personalities but range from feisty and outgoing to shy and timid. They are intelligent and fiercely loyal to the people they love and will happily accompany their owners anywhere and everywhere. However, they are prone to separation anxiety, so are happy with people around all the time. As they act like a big dog in a small dog's body, Chihuahuas can also be overprotective and very vocal if not well socialized. You will find that Pomeranians are very active, intelligent, alert, and curious. They are known as good alarm barkers or watchdogs. They are generally perky, friendly little dogs and, like Chihuahuas, do not seem to realize they are small, so they will occasionally attempt to tackle larger dogs or at least bark at them. Despite a small independent streak, they are pretty intelligent and do well in obedience competitions. Usually it is only when they age that they become amenable to being true lap dogs. Number 3. Their Appearance Chihuahuas are tiny dogs with a weight that never exceeds 5.5 pounds. Their height at withers is generally between 6 to 9 inches. There are also two types based on their coat texture. One type has a long, soft, flat, or somewhat wavy coat, and the other type has a short, smooth, glossy coat. These coats come in black and tan, red, fawn, tricolored, sable, and brindle. The most noticeable feature is their round heads and eyes, which are quite protruding. Lastly, the ears are large and their curved tail loops over the back. In contrast, Pomeranians are stockier and more heavily boned. They weigh between 3.3 and 6.6 pounds, yet their height at withers is only slightly more at around 9 to 11 inches. The head is round-shaped with a short muzzle and dark, bright, almond-shaped eyes. The ears are small and erect while their tail is curled and set parallel to their backs. Also, they have a double coat consisting of a soft, dense undercoat and a long, straight outer coat. The coat comes in various colors and color combinations including red, orange, cream, black, brown, brindle, and party color. Most notably, their limbs are short and straight, with very tiny feet. All in all, the size of the skull and the ears are the easiest identifiers between the two. Do you like this video? If so, it would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs every day. Number 4. Their Trainability Chihuahuas have the largest brains compared to their body size of any dog. They're clever little dogs as well and love to learn. Chihuahuas also seem well aware of how cute they are and often find ways to get what they want. They can have a bit of a terrier temperament, so a firm but gentle hand is necessary. Yet, they still tend to excel in obedience training and other canine sports. With Pomeranians, house training can be a challenge, but with close supervision and patience, it can be achieved. Poms generally get along well with other pets, but controlled socialization is a must. These dogs are also often used in various activities like therapy dog work and obedience competitions. They are very intelligent and enjoy learning tricks and performing. Number 5. The Time Investment Needed They might be small, but Chihuahuas still love getting out and about, while they might not need as much exercise as some larger breeds. Chihuahuas are also surprisingly low maintenance on the grooming front. A weekly brush for short-haired ones and two to three times per week for longer-haired Chihuahuas should be more than enough. They will be happy to snooze on your lap the rest of the time. Pomeranians can require more time invested in them but are usually pretty easy to keep. It is worth noting that some are finicky eaters, but they do not have a tendency toward obesity, probably because like Chihuahuas, they have a very active and playful nature. However, 
grooming is much more difficult and must be done very frequently. Overall though, they make good urban dwelling dogs and won't take up much time on the day-to-day. -day. Number 6. The Best Home for Them Chihuahuas are small and lightweight, so they are very tempting for young kids to pick up and play with, which they won't enjoy much. This means they are better suited to families with older children who understand that they may not want to be handled or fussed all the time. Moreover, Chihuahuas have a more independent streak, so are better suited to owners with experience of training willful dogs. Pomeranians are excellent watchdogs with their vigilant attitude and their tendency to bark. They make wonderful companions for elderly folks because of their alertness and their small size, but might be too fragile for young children. So what do you think so far? Do you prefer the Chihuahua or the Pomeranian? Stay tuned for more and if you are interested in other dog comparisons, check out some of our playlists and discover even more information about dogs. Number 7. Their Health Like many other purebred dogs, Chihuahuas are prone to certain health issues related to their breed. This is normally seen in joint problems such as their kneecaps slipping temporarily out of place or their hip joints not fitting together perfectly, eventually leading to arthritis. What's more, due to the shape of their jaws, they can retain puppy teeth and so experience overcrowding. The good news is that Chihuahuas also tend to live about 11 to 14 years on average, so they are long-term companions. Pomeranians also have some issues with their kneecaps slipping, but it's rarer. What is common, however, is breathing problems. This is due to the fact that their neck and windpipes are very small, so their trachea can collapse quite easily when they pull too hard on a tight leash. That's why it is recommended you use a harness with Pomeranians. What's more, this breed has long eyelashes, which makes them look very cute, but also causes them problems. Distichiasis is where the lashes develop in an abnormal location and poke into the eye, causing discomfort. Lastly, a Pomeranian's lifespan is a bit higher than a Chihuahua's at 12 to 16 years, which is very good for any dog breed and makes them a puppy that's not just for Christmas. Number 8. The Costs of Ownership The average price of a Chihuahua puppy can range from $400 to $1,500. This varies depending on the type, breeder's reputation, and bloodline. Rescue dogs are cheaper with adoption fees being between $150 and $600. Regardless, those from champion lines are much more sought after and expensive. Also, long-haired chihuahuas and the rarity of coat color impact the pricing. For instance, the Merle Chihuahua may cost up to $10,000. And this is before you get to the setup costs, insurance, and monthly food and care bills averaging at $70 a month, which adds up when they will likely live for over a decade. With everything totaled, the average cost of a Chihuahua throughout its life is about $13,000. When it comes to Pomeranian puppies, the price can vary greatly, with some costing as much as $6,000 if they are from a sought-after breeder, or if they are the rare black palm. In general though, expect to pay somewhere between $800 to $2,000 if you choose to get your palm from a breeder, and around half that if they are a rescue. Also, because grooming can be more challenging than with chihuahuas, there is an additional cost of around $65, and you will be looking at between 3 to 8 visits each year. When you also account for vet bills, accessories, and food costs, it can average $17,000 to take care of your palm for the duration of its life.